मायसेल सुधाकर बरबडे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अँड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन इंजिनिअरिंग वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द वर्किंग प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ फेज लॉक लूप इन शॉर्ट इट इज कॉल्ड पी एल एल लर्निंग आउटकम ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राईब द वर्किंग प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ पी एल एल कंटेंट्स फर्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज फेज लॉक लूप अँड दॅन वी विल डिस्कस द ब्लॉक डायग्रॅम ऑफ पी एल एल इन डिटेल सो पी एल एल इज अ बेसिकली अ क्लोज लूप सिस्टम दॅट मीन्स अ फीडबॅक इज देअर फ्रॉम आउटपुट टू द इनपुट इट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ डिफरंट कंपोनंट्स लाईक फेज डिटेक्टर लोपास फिल्टर आम्प्लिफायर अँड व्होल्टेज कंट्रोल्ड ऑसिलेटर the applications of phase lock loop consist of different circuits which are helpful helpful in communication systems as well as in general signal modification circuits so main its application is to lock the output frequency and phase of the input signal so the output frequency of the pll is locked with the input frequency that is what the applications based on this concept and that is called locking principle as we discussed pll principle is used in applications such as fm demodulation fsk demodulation which comes under the circuits we use in a communication systems in addition to that it is used to control the speed of a motor even it is used for frequency multiplication and division frequency multiplication is one of the very important application of pll which is also called as frequency synthesizer let us have the look at block diagram of pll so block diagram consists of three blocks phase detector low pass filter and voltage controlled oscillator but here this output is fed back to the input through this feedback path that's why this pll is called as a feedback system the input frequency here is fi and the voltage is vi the difference of this input and this output we are getting as ve here at the output of phase detector which is applied to the low pass filter here some high frequency noise present in the error voltage is removed by this low pass filter and passes only the low frequency signals or we can say dc signal to the output of and it is called vc controlled voltage which is given to the voltage controlled oscillator whose output frequency depends upon the input voltage as the input voltage varies 
the output frequency of the VCO also varies and which tries to match this output frequency with the input frequency or we can say in other words this phase detector output that is error voltage in tries to become 0 and we get the output locked to the input frequency. Let us see one by one how the phase detector works. Phase detector has got two inputs, one is the input voltage V i at frequency F i and the other input to the phase detector is uh, output from the voltage control oscillator at frequency F 0 which is given as a feedback. Then the phase detector compares these two signals and produces a DC voltage called V e which is proportional to the difference between F i and F o. The output voltage V e of the phase detector is called error voltage and this error voltage is then applied to the input of low pass filter. Let us see the purpose of low pass filter. The low pass filter is used to remove the high frequency components or high frequency noise present in the phase detector output and to produce a ripple free DC voltage which is given to the voltage controlled oscillator. This DC level is amplified to an adequate level and applied to the input of voltage controlled oscillator. The DC amplifier output voltage is called as the control voltage VC. This VC is then applied to the voltage controlled oscillator. The last block is voltage control oscillator whose output frequency depends upon the input voltage VC. The control voltage VC is applied at the input of the VCO and the output frequency of VCO is directly proportional to the DC voltage VC. The VCO frequency F0 is compared with the input frequency Fi by the phase detector and it is adjusted continuously until it is equal to the input frequency Fi. So, in short we can say that this F0, this PLL what it does is it tries to produce the F0 in such a way that it is always equal to the input frequency Fi. With this locking principle we get the output which is locked with the input frequency. Now, let us have a question. What are the applications of PLL in communication circuits? Pause the video and answer the question. As we discussed earlier, there are numerous applications of PLL, but the question was what are the applications of PLL in communication system. So, in communication PLL can be used as a amplitude modulation detection 
FM modulation detection and frequency shift keying detection or we can say demodulation. There are other applications of PLL which is very important is frequency multiplication, but that does not come under the communication system. So, these are the applications which come under the communications. References to prepare these slides, I used a book named as Electronic System Design by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electrotech Publications, Satara. Thank you.